Hey hey, Captain Rush is back. I bring you guys another cool guide, this time on how to power level or boost your animal breeding or farming skill from 0 to 100 in just about 9 days. This trick, this guide, works equally both for farming and breeding because the values are pretty much the same. Yes, we will need to get some islands for that and if any of you have watched my previous guides on islands or farming, you will know that I have 4 fully maxed out islands at my disposal. So let's first jump into some numbers, that way I can show you guys how I did the math and why this is possible. And let me just quickly show you, here's the maxed out animal breeding node and I also got my ox breeding to like 42 when I did this. So to calculate all the fame we need to level up our mastery, we'll be using the Albion 2D website. We will need to go to the Destiny Calculator and open up the Harvester node. And then the Animal Breeding node. Here we can select the premium and we can use the slider to adjust just how many levels we want to gain. In this case, I'm going to be going all the way to 100. So here we see a bunch of different animal options that we have that we can raise. From tier 3 all the way to tier 8 and we even have some like rare animals and stuff like that, mammoths, so and so. Since we're going to be using a character who has zero spec and zero mastery, we'll be using tier 3 animals. So like these guys in here. Another reason is that tier 3 animals are super cheap and we want to keep this as cost effective as possible. This is basically an investment and all investments need to be paid off eventually. So you can use chickens if you're only looking to raise animals for cooking as the amount is the same as you can see here 1530 horses chickens or the oxen I will be looking at the oxen as I'm interested in doing this for ox breeding and again this is just an example you could do this for horse breeding or just if you want to craft food you can do the chickens so the Albion 2D website is telling us that we need to raise 1530 oxen in order to level up all the way from 0 to 100. So how can we use this info? What do you guys think? Should I pause the video and let you guys reply in comments in the YouTube? No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, so here's what we're going to do with the data. We're going to switch over to my favorite Excel spreadsheet and you guys as you've probably watched some of my videos before, like my artifact uh, salvaging guide, you probably already know that I like using Excel for my calculations. So we're going to do a little bit of that here. So first we're going to look at what we already have, what is given. And what is given is my four islands. So let's run some numbers. We have four islands, five pastures per island, so that gives us a total of 20 pastures. Uh, we can kind of ignore this, this is just pasture construction, I was calculating, you know, how much tier 1 and tier 3 materials it would take me to build the 20 pastures. So, if we have 20 pastures, how many oxes can we realistically plant per day? And the answer is 180, because there is 9 um, pastures times 20, the answer is 180. So we can do 180 oxes basically per day. So the next thing I was looking at is the the baby oxes, the, the ox uh, calves, calves. And you can ignore this line. I was just trying to mess around and see if I could save some money. But I'm going to make this guide pretty much, you know, dummy proof. So we're going to we're going to look at the worst numbers, right? We're going to look at the worst case scenario. So worst case scenario, you're going to be buying at 25,000 at the NPC vendor. This is a fixed price. And it will cost you for the initial investment to get 180 uh, ox babies, ox calves, it's going to cost you four and a half million silver. 
So next thing I was looking at is if I don't nurture these oxes, they have an offspring yield of 84%, which means there is a 16% loss every day. So I would be losing roughly 28.8 or 29 oxes per day if I don't nurture. And I don't want to nurture because my initial cost for like a zero spec brand new character would be a thousand. That's that's a lot of focus. And I don't want to I don't want to waste focus on this. I'd rather use it on something else more useful. Right. So my daily loss from the 28 or 29 ox babies that don't produce, you know, offspring would be 720,000 silver per day. That's that's a loss. Right. So what about the feed? So the ox eats about 10 wheat. And again, wheat is just, just the, the crop I picked. You can do any any crop uh, or mushrooms or carrots, whatever. So the ox eats, one baby eats uh, 10 wheat per day. So that would give us, you know, we have 180 times 10, basically 1800 wheat per day. Uh, the price, as you guys have seen from my, from my previous videos, the price will always change. It will fluctuate a little bit, but you know, and at the moment of making this Excel, I saw it was at 349. So the total cost of wheat per day to feed these, you know, 180 oxes would be 628. So my total daily loss from the loss of offspring and the feed would be about 1.3 mil. So this is actually incorrect. It's going to be a little bit higher. So going back to the Albion 2D website, we can see that the number of oxes that we need to raise is 1530. So let's that let's plug it in. So 1530 oxes. If we raise one per day, will take us you know 1500 days. But if we can do 180 oxes per day, the total comes out to 8.5 days or nine days that's right nine days to go all the way from zero to 100 with this model and again how we got that is easy 1530 divided by 180 you get 8.5 days easy peasy right so one last thing i almost forgot to mention is the cost of this entire investment the cost of this endeavor right so since we're running this for nine days our total project investment is going to be our daily loss multiplied by nine plus the initial investment of getting all these 180 you know ox babies set up so the cost comes out to about 16.6 .6 million it's a pretty hefty sum but again if you're making some good money somewhere else or have accumulated some money somewhere else it's not that bad i mean you're you're basically paying 16 mil to to level up from zero to 100 right it's better than buying tomes and you can't even buy tomes for for farming as you know and another thing that I'm not calculating here is how much baby oxes I have at the end of this and how many actual grown oxen I have because I could further you know settle them into ox mounts and actually sell them uh, but I don't care about that at this point you know this is this is just a quick sort of like you know investment project investment guide how much would it take you you know, in the worst possible scenario to invest some money and get um, get from zero to 100 in either farming crops or, or, or raising animals. Uh, I would bet you could recover probably a good amount of this money if you were to sell the, the grown oxes back or maybe if you settled them. Maybe you could even recover the whole thing or maybe make some profit. Uh, but again, that's not something I want to focus on in this specific guide. This specific guide is just specifically for, you know, straight up growing. All right. Now I'm going to switch over back to my islands and show you my setup really quickly. I'll try to speed it up so it's not as boring. And then I will just record picking up oxen every day for the remaining nine days until we hit our goal of 100 out of 100. Enjoy.
Okay guys, so here is the character that I'm going to be using to pick up the oxes. And let's take a quick look of my masteries. I couldn't actually find a character that's 0 out of 100, but this guy has it pretty close. So we can see here it's actually 14 out of 100. It's, you know, maybe like a day of farming or something, and then everything else is at 0. So that should be just good enough.
So we've gotten quite a bit of mastery level ups on day one. I'm really curious to see how high it is. Wow, we, we hit 50. So we went from 14 to 50 in just one day. That's pretty awesome. That's And that's the biggest chunk of levels we'll ever get. As all consecutive days will be less and less as fame per level drastically increases. But yeah, this is pretty cool. So day two looks like we got to 66, so we went from 50 to 66. Like I said, it's going to be less each consecutive day. Not too bad. And on the spec, we got all the way to 21 on the breeding spec. That's really good too. Alright, let's see what we get on day 3, from 66 to 76, starting to slow down, but it's pretty good, I mean, we got 3 quarters of the way in 3 days basically, 27 and Ox breeding, that's awesome. Alright, let's check out day 4, 
we're up to 84 on our mastery and 32 on the August breeding spec. All right, day five, we're getting close. We are at 91 in a mastery, getting really close. And 36 on the ox breeding spec, cool. All right, let's check out what we got for day six. We're up to 96 in the mastery. Super close. One more day probably. And 39 in the ox spec. Nice, nice. Okay, so here we are on day nine, we hit 100 mastery. Well, it's actually day seven because of missed of Albion fame buff and I missed one day and didn't pick up my oxen, but I accounted for the fame buff so you don't have to worry. Under normal conditions, without any kind of a fame buff, it takes nine days to go from zero to 100. You can rest assured of that. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little guide. You can now all go on and become professional farmers and animal breeders and raise any animal or crop in the game. Please let me know in the comments if you have any further questions or would like me to create a guide on anything else or on anything specific that you may be interested in. Again, thanks for all your support and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe if you'd like to see more cool content about Albion Online. Captain Russia, signing out.